Glad I sold off the gauze and the uh, spare weaponry that we had and the die grenades because now, I mean, some people don't have weapons. But uh, it's all the soldiers. The 80 item limit is still in play, but thankfully, thankfully, uh, most of our weapons are the weapons we use regularly. So some people don't have a weapon, but at least they've got a grenade. And if we fail this mission, then it is game over. And this is when the game gets incredibly slow. This is the most difficult thing for this game to load as a base defense mission, it seems. And this is where also having this base layout helps out because three sub pens and the bottleneck at the control center. I'm sure if you turn around, you'll see a good three, four, five, nine aliens in that room. So we'll get a lot of people set up here. To snipe them. There are going to be some aliens out around in the hallway. Some do spawn outside. But it's not very many. It's usually just uh, just one or two here or there. So everybody will just you know, turn around, look around their starting position, see if they can see it anywhere. But for the most part, they're all in the sub pens and control center. Like, there might be one down here and one somewhere else. But nothing we can't handle. And almost certain we'll be okay here. We got enough soldiers, we got enough weapons, we should be able to do this. Uh, it does depend on what exactly we're fighting though. If it's a very large base filled with uh, lobstermen, for example, that might be a little a little troublesome. Oh good, a deep one. Hey, a uh, deep one. Do you have a, a taser by chance? No, no taser. Alright, we're on Zilla. Uh, go for it, buddy. Snapshot. Nice. Good job. Medic with a kill. Actually, I'm not really that surprised. Super on Zilla's stats are insane. I mean, they're ridiculous for a medic. He's pretty much started off that way. Um. Alright, well, these hallways are clear. That's a good thing. Check this room real quick while you're there. Looks good. The turns are going to take a little while. Uh, it's mostly going to be me moving soldiers up to this control center, though. Or not the control center. Uh, wrong game. Uh, this thing, the access lift, or whatever the hell it's called in this game. Moving people up to it and relying on reaction fire. Although an alien grenade will be devastating. So I need to be careful of that. Ah, uh, Bedouar, I forgot to... Well, I actually couldn't really have done that very well at all. Uh, I, I do know that you want stun rods, though. I do remember that. Are you going to be kind of a, a berserker of sorts? In my eyes. Open the door and let you run on in and destroy everything. Oh, god, there's people up here, too. I'm not going to be moving everybody. <laughs> no worries there. There's our alien containment with not a deep one in it. Deep ones, though. That's, that's good. That means, uh, that means gillmen and, um... And deep ones, unless it's a mixed crew. It, it could be mixed crew, in which case it's whatever the game feels like. Which could be an issue, but not right about it. Richard Curtis, some no-name rookie, didn't get to the uh, arsenal room fast enough. Couldn't get a gun. Glex GG turns around and sees the alien right there. Uh, horse is there ready to take a shot as well if need be. But Galacti GG is close enough, he may be able to just aim shot. Got him. Easy. Hey, rookie. Get over here. Pick up this gun. Next turn. If I remember. Right, register. Is there anything out here? Yes, there is. Go ahead, take that snapshot. Got him. Right in the butt. A fine shot, register. See, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes they're at the ends of these hallways and these little rooms, but usually there's not that many. Like, I've probably already killed most of the aliens that are in a weird spot. Got this way uh, pretty much cleared off. We got Horst here and we've got Conrad. Conrad Zafrasi here. Uh, we'll have them look over this hallway. Yeah, where was that rookie grabbing a gun? 
I go, and we'll have Richard Curtis, Radister, and Galactic GG watch this hallway in case there's anything left down there. This way we've got Thothkins? Whoops, I don't know where Galactic GG's moved to. No, that's fine. I believe Thothkins is over here somewhere. Are you Thothkins? No, you're Andrew Cook. You're nobody important. Yes, Thothkins. Uh, look. Look that way. And step up a bit. And watch that hallway. Super Onzilla will have you head up. Let's move some more soldiers up here. And then I'm going to have Draven here. Set a timer. And Jake C. Uh, actually, you guys head out. Uh, oh shit, now Draven's kind of exposed, isn't he? Uh, hang tight, Draven. No worries. Should be okay for the first turn, I think. Perhaps. Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, throw it. Ah, uh, that'll blow the door open. And do we have another grenade anywhere? Dorfin, do you? No. I'd really like a second grenade. Prime it for one turn. Uh, throw it to... Throw it to DeWife. There you go. And DeWife will throw it. Uh, over there? I don't know if they chain explode or not. I don't think they do. Right, and then we need to set up set up defenses. Have a ton of people hanging out here looking looking beastly, watching the door, so when anything opens that door it gets shot. Damn it, you you stay put, sir. And Super Onzilla will move you up just in case we need medical support. Uh, Dorfin Dorfin, watch down here with Southkins just in case he needs help. I think he's got it, though. I don't think there's actually anything down here. We got this angle. We got this corner of the base covered, man. We got people everywhere watching this. Where's that rookie at? There you go. Grab this. Ooh. Grab the grenades, too. I might need those. Be awesome if we got a deep one during this. Uh, that's... It's actually kind of the... The optimal thing here is getting a live deep one from this mission. I believe that'll work out okay. I don't really know exactly how it works. Like that. Yeah, first ga first grenade blows up, revealing the doors and walls. The second grenade will explode and kill anything that is inside that access lift. There's a lot of doors opening. And there we go. That cleared out... That cleared out a lot, actually. Yeah, there's a deep one right there. A couple gill men. Oh, yeah. And Draven... Fall back a bit. Let's see here. Who's got really good reactions? 49 reactions is pretty good. 39. Hmm. 58. Yeah, okay. You're you're stepping up. Uh, maybe not that close. Let's step back a notch here. Beduar, however you're saying name. Beduar, Betoir, 48's not bad. Yalshua, oh, 33. I thought you were really, ac uh, really, really reactive. I know Ron's got super high. There we go. He got pretty good reactions. Hydras. Uh, right. So people with really good reaction speed up front, watching these doors. Uh, Dally, hang on tight. Some people are going to die. Because sometimes an alien will just open the door, turn, and shoot you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Super Onzilla, get ready for hmm, anything. David X, hang tight. You, you're kind of high ranking, and I don't want you near that door and getting shot. It's gonna be a pretty much a waiting game now. Get the highest reaction people up by that door, so as soon as an alien opens, it gets shot in the face and hmm, ideally dies. Lots of hidden movement going on. Probably movement in the sub pens. There we go. All right, let's let's just save again real quick. <laughs> Made me a little nervous. Right on. Carlos Diaz, no thirty, not good enough. Magizia, forty-two, no. 
38, no. 47, hmm. Yashua already looked at you. Because I know Ron's really good. 43, okay, well, he was alright. Uh, 37. 51, Thathkins. Draven, 32. Dally already looked at you. Mordenkind, 46. 46. 54, Tom. 59, Commissar Pancakes. Is that right? Was that the right stat? Yeah, 59. Holy shit. Alright, uh, Commissar Pancakes. Grab. Grab Mordenkind's gun. Sorry, Mordenkind. Commissar Pancakes. Quite a bit more reactive. You're female. Mm. Alright. Uh, open the door. We'll handle this next turn. Um. I kind of want to get one of those rookies to open up the door and maybe throw a grenade. There we go! That's what I'm talking about. What's it like, aliens? Huh? How's it feel? Motherfuckers. Please don't throw a grenade through the open door. Oh god, maybe we should all step back. We should probably step back a bit. <laughs> thinking about it. A uh, little more fallback, guys. We're a little too close to that door. Uh, let's get you... Let's get you down here, just in case anything comes through these doors. I'd like to shoot at it. Thorfinn, keep an eye out. I'm 99% sure that that way's clear. Kneel down. Uh, Thorfinn, kneel down. So we got this door covered. Absolutely covered. And everyone else, fall back. You as well, sir. We need to get you in a safe spot. I don't want you dying this mission. If you die, our morale is going to hit the floor so hard. There we go. And falling back this far, Commissar Pancake should be able to step up. Put that grenade in your belt. I was told shoulders actually better to put stuff in. Yeah, that's actually really nice. It only takes three time units. Thanks for that tip. Uh, whoever that was, I already forgot. I always thought belt was fastest, but nope. It is indeed shoulders. JXC, step back. Hydra, step back. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Symmetry. And Yashua, why not? And everyone kneel. We still got time units, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Alright, end the turn. And now we wait. End the turn a lot. And pick them off as they come out. It's like whack-a-mole, but with aliens. And you're shooting it. Not hitting it with a hammer. Hmm. It's actually not very much like whack-a-mole at all. Oh, Gilman Commander going berserk. Watch out. Jeez, if only they were actually worth anything. And now I'm afraid to open the door because I don't know what is over there. We do have, though. <laughs> we do have no-name rookies with grenades. Right. Superonzilla and... Whatever your name was. Batoir... Mr. Bet, I guess. Who's who's the rookie over here? Like, the rookie. Like, the big rookie. The one without a legit name tag, even. Do we have any over here? I'm bored to death with the hell. Bored indeed. Sorry, sir. Uh. Um. We have, like... Eight soldiers that aren't even named. One of them should be around here somewhere. There's Richard Curtis. Alright, Richard Curtis. Here. 
you're gonna be fly for uh, this playthrough. There we are. Head head up. We're gonna have you test out these doors. Make sure they uh, make sure the doors work. <laughs> Why am I having you prime grenades to see if the doors work? Uh, for safety, I guess. There we go. Step back a little more. <clears throat> Just because what I'm about to do is a little dangerous. As it does involve... Wow, that's a scary reaction shot shooting over the heads of people. My god. Nice job, though. Um, I'm glad you can see him from way back there. It's pretty awesome. Who was that? Megizia. Rations 42, jeez. Alright, well, that, don't ever do that again. That is terrifying. In fact, nobody look at those doors. At all. Go play XCOM or something on the computer. I don't want anybody taking a reaction shot at an alien and missing and hitting the back of somebody else. That's not what I want to do. Yeah, where was that rookie? Where? Oh, there you are. Prime that one. That one's already primed. Good deal. Head on up. And the turn again. Oh. See, now the thing is, if you shoot wide right and you're on that side, you're gonna hit somebody. Aim at the alien. Everybody's far enough away for that reason. Well, you took out a wall. There's a lot of naked gilmet over there. Ew, what's going on? Gross. What were they planning to do? Maybe they just came down to have, like, a rave or something. They just want a party. They're like, hey, what's going on, neighbors? We're here for the party. We just start shooting them. Yep. Hide around the corner. There's a lot of them over there. We see you. Hydra's aim shot. Can you hit that one? No, you can hit that one. Oh my god, I was just talking to my buddy. And Yashua, 88% chance. Got him. Nicely done, fellas. Gilman's just talking to either the Gilman, the one falls dead. Wow. Yeah, I'd panic too. I guess that's why they're all naked. They're all freaking out. They're like, oh god, this is the worst idea ever. I hate my commander for making me come out here like this. Alright, uh, step aside a bit. Let, let Bomberman go up. Yeah. Um... How can we do this so you don't kill everybody? Uh, let's just have you go around. Actually, that'll that'll work. Here, come on, go around the back side. JC, step up. Look that way and kneel. We should still have enough for a snapshot. I'll have you go around this way and just run through the door because I don't want you standing there with a grenade and just getting shot right away. Kind of defeats a purpose. A few Gilmen still. Still with it. They're barely holding it together, though. If the commander's fucking panicking and going berserk, yikes. That's bad news. Let's go ahead and save it. These long hidden movement turns are making me kind of nervous. I'm expecting the game to just be like, I can't handle all the stuff. Just buckling and crashing. Nothing down there, that's fine. And yeah, I could have somebody, you know, throw it over here, but I don't want one of these guys to throw it back there because I don't want it blowing off this wall, because then that kind of defeats what I'm trying to do. I want to get it back over here, actually throw it deep into that room, into the center, and clear everything out over there. And I'm pretty sure it's clear over here. Just being safe. Nice shot. Man, that side sees aliens before they even get to the door. I'm a little nervous about... this angle, though. An alien standing here looking and shooting. So I think I might get people... step back. That area is compromised. 
Uh, Jake C. Whoops. Step back there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Magizia, step back a little bit. And you should be okay, but just to be safe, step back a little more. There we are. I think we are once again protected. Next turn, you will do your business. <laughs> that alien's like, I'm not opening that fucking door. Screw that. You see that pile of Gilmen there? No, thank you. It's all right, Gilmen. Come on out. Come play. It's cool. Dun dun dun. Bum bum bum. What's up, guys? Welcome to XCOM. It's like a training simulator for any terror mission that I do. Grenades. Really? You can't throw it anywhere over there? It's because the axe left lift is, like, broken in half. Just throw it into that giant pit there. It's okay. Alright, you don't have to. Uh, run back into there, then. That's fine. We'll just throw a grenade there. Uh, took out a couple things. Oh, took out the other deep one. Sweet. We've got a lot of kills, my gosh. Right, Richard, head back in. Open the door. What do we got? What do we got? Who's that? Who's that? Throw it on this side. No, you really... There you go. Hey, you threw it where you couldn't throw it before. Grats. Wow! Uh, aliens! Great. Uh, just hang out here with that grenade. It's not live, so I'm not too concerned. Oop. Mm, I heard of that. That was not a basketball. That was one of those thermal shock bombs being launched. I could really use one of those guns. Who was it, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Throw a grenade there. Step to the side. Boom. There goes those guys. I think these other grenades will just prime it for one turn so they'll blow up at the end of their turn. Seems to work out pretty well. Grab another grenade from the ground. There's a million of them down there. Primer for a turn, and can't throw it yet. Hang on tight. They're way back in the subpens now, I think. <laughs> Richard Curtis. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Well, step up. I mean, don't be shy. Just give it a good, good throw. There you go. Add a boy. Oh, because I primed it for one turn last turn, I think it was hit zero turns. Okay, never, never mind. Uh, could really use a stun rod guy. Do we have any? Who's got a stun rod? No one. N no stun rods. Okay, that's moderately disappointing. Richard Curtis, what's it look like? We, uh, we clear-ish? I think there's just, like, an alien left, and he's out by the subpen, so I think we're okay to move up now. Jake C, head up. The wife and others. Head up, get ready to go in. Whoops. It's all right, strength training. Commissar Pancakes, what's it like being left-handed on X, comma? Oh, you see... Oh, he knocked himself out. Oh, look at that. He is... he is way up high. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, don't... don't worry about it. Uh, we'll take care of him later. I think he's just up there freaking right the heck out. Oh. Heh. <laughs> you fell. Maybe that's why he's stuck up there. He can't actually, uh... He can't actually go anywhere because the floor's destroyed pretty much everywhere. So where are we at? You are on. Okay, you're on floor one. 
right. Okay, so he's way up top. Yeah, he can't come down. Uh, and we can't really get him either, I don't think. Maybe we can shoot up? Hmm. I think he might be the last one. Can we get him? Yep. Old school XCOM style. Oh jeez, go man squad leader, going berserk. He's over there by the sub pens. Kind of masked in darkness, but he's going berserk, so we should be okay to move up. Richard Curtis, can you He's over in the corner, I believe. There's some no name that I don't really care about, so if you happen to get shot in the face and die, it won't really bother me. No, still nothing? No. Prime grenade for nothing. Oh, uh. There's one. I found one! Uh. Anyone? The wife. Stand up. Whoops. Stand up. I need you to. Oh, right. The elevator's completely broken on that floor. So you're in a pit. Effectively. Don't worry. We'll, we'll get you out. Careful of the pit, guys. We don't have a hole to recreate <laughs> fucking the movie 300. This is XCOM. Kick. Alright, so you see an alien there. Ah, there's him. Uh, should be okay to throw it over by those, you know, rockets. Uh, should be... Should be okay. Just hang tight. JXC, step up. And Commissar Pancake, step up as well. You can kneel. That poor alien. He's like, I'm so fair frightened. Everyone's dying. These doors suck. These doors keep getting us killed. It's alright, alien. Don't worry. It'll all be over soon. Just deposit that. Uh, you might blow yourself up, but the wall might also save you. I don't know yet. And Jake C. Hello. You are dead. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god, he lives. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and that's that. 24 aliens killed, only got 13 of their corpses though. One live alien, that's that uh, Gilman who knocked himself out. And probably like 9 Sonic Pulsers.